Didn't realize, sorry, we, I wasn't armed. I wasn't armed and ready to go. 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 Where was I to let the gristle flow? I said, I wasn't armed and ready to go. Where was I to let that gristle flow? I let the gristle flow. Um, there we go. Are we going now? Are we going now? There we are. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. They said that somewhere. Um, uh, let's see what we got here. We're going to go over here. Boom. We did that. And I shared it there. I shared it over here, and I shared it over there. I did what I had to do. Shared it over here, and I shared it over there. I did what I had to do. Hey, friends, what's going on? Hey, friends, where the fun never ends. Let me make sure I got everything ready to go here. Let's see what we got. We got a little bit. Got the side cam? Yeah, we got side cam. Holy cow. Now we are rocking. Uh, I like that riff. I mixed it in with another one of my tunes, a little Van Halen song in there. I had fun with that Eddie Van Halen guitar this week, and I, I realized I'd never played along with any of those old jams. I had the first couple Van Halen records. I remember, like, you know, uh, uh, 
<laughs> Dylan says they did it wrong. They did it wrong. Dylan says they did it wrong. Somebody get me a doctor. Somebody get me a doctor. <laughs> Fellas, somebody get me a damn doctor. Because I'm ailing down to my corns. When you're ailing down to your corns, what do you do? You seek a uh, doctor. You know, when you're aching down to your corns, what do you do? You get a goddamn doctor. That's what you gotta do. Somebody get me a doctor. We are, we are, we are. Coming back to McKinney, that's a good question. Hopefully sooner than later, Diggity Dog Audit. Somebody get me a doctor here. Hey, somebody give me a damn doctor here. I got ales down to my corn. Maybe that's a new song we need. Ailing down to my corns. Ailing down to my corns. Ailing down to my corns. I need a doctor. Ailing down to my corns. Somebody get me a damn doctor. Uh, da, do, da, do, da, do. <laughs> Good thing you play great guitar because your voice is scary. I scare people with my growler voice. I scare people with my growly voice. I scare people with my growly voice. There you go. That was called the growler. I've got my, um, <laughs> someone just said, Greg's got the runs. I do not, I do not have the runs, Dan bro. Dan bro, judging my colon, Dan bro, making assessments of my colon, colon, Dan bro. Dan bro. All right. Ah, uh, Michael Burrell asks a very pertinent question. He says, and I quote, any word on the latest Hal Leonard instruction book and when it's coming? Yes. I reached out. I said, bros, where's my book of transcriptions? I said, I don't know. Don't you have the runs? I said, what does that have to do with anything? And no, I don't. Dan Bro says I have them. He doesn't know sh anything about my colon. What? How did we get here? Where did we, what? Somebody get me an actor! Anyway, uh, sorry Michael Burrell, I got a little wandery there. Uh, they said November 1st, I will have the transcriptions to look over and then it goes in production from there. So it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while, unfortunately. But you know what comes out sooner than that, Michael Burrell? October 26th, next Tuesday. Gristleman Guitar at TrueFire.com You can go through my website at gregcock.com Follow a link there to True Fire and get my Gristleman Guitar course. So many activities! Yeah. All right. <laughs> I 
got, I keep on forgetting. Every time I get in this room on a Friday or a Monday, where those are the two days I wear these earphones, I realize I need new headphones. <laughs> There we go. This guitar sounds quite majestic. Of course, I've got my Fishman Gristle Tone P90s on this guitar. <laughs>
boogie 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 you got a boogie that's what you must do you got the boogie well along with scooby doo That's right. The power of the fishman grizzle tone P90 pickup will take your soul. Will take your soul. Matt Turner says, I played long, but I played an F sharp. I like it. That, make, that makes for a little extra sinewy syrup. Sinewy syrup is what we need. Sinewy syrup, sinewy syrup, sinewy syrup. Greg, can you do any Carl Perkins stuff? Oh. <laughs>
Rigo Gagoi. A little bit of that surf zap. I did a little rendition of that on my Double the Gristle record. Double the Gristle. A rock and roll missile. Oh yeah, someone pointed out that one lyric and I uh, Let me be, let me be a, let me be a bit, let me be a big ball, give you a bit. Be a little dog, let me be a bit, be a big dog, come Let me be a bit, yeah. Something like that. Hear that? Let me be a little I don't even know what happened. Uh I don't even know what happened to that kind of activity. Tired of weeping, tired of moaning, tired of groaning. 
thinking of you I'm so glad I'm so glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm so glad I'm so glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad Tired of weeping Tired of moaning Tired of groaning over you I don't know what to do Don't know what to do So glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm so glad, I'm so glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Back in the day, I used to play a little bit of that doggone. Yeah, can you dig it? That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. Boom, boom, dig it. We started off today with somebody can be a doctor, didn't we? Dan Smith is in Perth. I love me some Perth. I had good times in Perth. I think we always stayed in Fremantle, though. We stayed in Fremantle. There's that glorious Asian 
food market there, the food bazaar. We go in there and feast. Last time I was there, I saw Luke Longley in there, the old Chicago bull who was from Australia. He was in there to feast. He wasn't afraid. Have I, have I written Bilbo Boy yet? I should write a song for Bilbo. It'd be called, Cat, you better watch yourself. Right? That cat needs to watch himself. That cat needs to let the good times roll. Oh, Bill wants that good times roll. We'll do that one in a minute. We, we should probably do it. Let's do a little... Uh, We'll do a little Chiefs Blues, because uh, this guitar sounds good for that. Oh, that's not it.
I like it. People ask when the little the little gristle amp comes out. That's a good question. They're still waiting on transformers. As soon as I know, I'll let you know. Transformers supply chain issues in the world. What we going to do? Things can't get to me and you. Supply chain issues. 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 Better start making stuff over here. Start it. Uh, supply chain issues. Better start making stuff over here. <laughs> Better start it up. Start getting out the toothpicks and glue, Elmer's glue. Start getting to it. Supply chain issues, boom, doom, doom, supply chain issues, boom, doom, 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 I like that. I've been messing around with that riff for a while, that. to hear that song uh, uh. Oh, wham, pimp. gotta remember how it goes if you came from money that's it this is a song I wrote about um, I used to always have this joke called if I came from money I must have left it behind because I read on the online someplace that apparently I came from a very wealthy family he comes from a lot of money. No, no. George did all right, but uh, 
uh, um, yeah. I was paying my own rent at 21, just so we're clear. <laughs> <laughs> paying my own rent, paying my own rent, taking the life and the a ding a cent, and a little drink, shrink a dig a dig. If I came from money, I must have left it behind. If I came from money, I must have left it behind. So anyways, I've been waiting to use that line on a song, and uh, uh, I'm gonna do this for you if I can remember it, because Genia wants to hear it. And we're gonna do it because Genia rocks. Can you dig it? <laughs> If you came from money, you must have left it behind. Cause you took every red cent of mine that you could find. I ain't no miser, baby. No pennies left to pinch If I was still rolling in the dough, baby Well, loving you'd be a cinch Loving you'd be a cinch I had some fancy wheels, but they're getting kind of old each click of the odometer, I could feel you growing cold. I ain't no miser, baby. I got no pennies left to pinch. If I was still eating high off the hog, baby. Well, loving you'd be a cinch. Loving you'd be a cinch. I never said I was no millionaire, but I lived like one while I could. Then times took a turn. Stop living like a working man should. I got no pennies left to pinch If I was still shitting in high cotton Well, loving you'd be a sin 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 I ain't no miser, baby. I got no pennies left to pinch. Woo! I did say a naughty word. I'm sorry about that. I said a naughty word. Said a naughty word. Said a naughty word. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is a song that Warren Haynes wrote. Greg Allman did it back in the day. It's called Just Before the Doggone Bullets Fly. I like that thing. <laughs> Oh, 
of bullets fly I've always been a gambler Took a chance as all of my life Busting up love affairs Just like shooting dice I stage the game, girl That's what keeps me satisfied But knowing when the need day comes Just before the bullets fly It's about that time for questions, ladies and gentlemen. Any questions out there in movie land? Don't be afraid. Behold my mighty... Fishman Fluence Powered Gristle 90 Guitar with the signature Gristle Tone P90 Pickups. <laughs> Uh, has Dylan thought of getting his own line of gristle headbands? Yeah, he's not wearing a headband. That's his. That's his uh, earphones that are back there. His earphones. His earphones. His earphones. His earphones. The Golden Gristle Ninety. <laughs> Um, what 
what is your rehearsal regimen? Well, usually when um, Toby comes to town, we run through a couple jams uh, before we do a performance. And usually I'll send him the tunes in advance and then we'll run over and make a couple charts. And then I'll send him a tune with a chart and say, learn that one. And then we'll run over it once and then we play it. And that's kind of what we do. That's kind of what we do. Best ways to learn without a guitar teacher. Buy my dog on Gristleman Guitar Course, which you can pre order now through my website, gregcock.com. You can click right over there to diggity dog on truefy.com. And then you'll be rocking. What happened to the prototype with the black pickups? That was sent back to Fishman. Genius said, how did your recent gigs go? They went fantastic, although those were all in September. October has been, I went down and did uh, uh, the True Fire thing, but other than that, October has been barren, other than us rocking in this room, which I'm fine with, of course. And, and, da, da, da. Elliot Easton was a great chat. Thank you, Dire Wolf. Yes, every Thursday morning now, folks, the latest edition, episode, if you will, of my podcast, Chewing the Gristle, which is a joint Fishman and Wildwood-sponsored series, if you will, podcast. And today, the Elliot Easton conversation, which was very fun, debuted. I also talked uh, um, I talked with Vernon Reed yesterday. That was a fascinating conversation. And then I talked with my buddy Guy King today, Chicago bluesman. And uh, next week, I got Pete Thorne on the docket. So we're, I don't know who's n who will be the next one that will be next week, as I recall. I've been kind of stocking them up and uh, doing more and more and more, which is good. Um, can you dig it? Can you dig it? Do, 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 do. Are there any Chewing the Gristle guests you'd like to have back on the podcast? Yes, all of them. Actually, but, but although we had all of them were good conversations, I thought they were pretty thorough. Um, you know, and everyone was gung ho. Everyone was gung ho to chew the gristle, as it were. Any potential Minneapolis shows in the lineup? Yeah, we got to book something before the end of the year. Hopefully, we can get that done. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll go to the hook and ladder, the hook and the hook and by crook. What time on Thursdays? That's a good question, Gina. Just at some time in the morning. Uh, there's a notice that comes that says, behold, the new pod, I guess if you, if you go and you follow it, they'll send you a notice that'll say, it has come. It has come. What is the phaser sounding pedal I'm using? I'm using a, uh, let's check this out. I'm using a phase 95 by our friends at MXR. I'm also using a little slapback from MXR. <laughs> Somebody get me a damn doctor. I go, could you, should you have Paul Gilbert? That would be fun. You know, I've never actually met Paul Gilbert. And uh, I've encountered most guitar dudes over the years, but I've just never been in the same time, the same place with mutual friends. It just never happened. But I'd love to. He's, he's fantastic. Uh, uh, Pete Thorne is a monster, and he's a very nice fellow. Pete Thorne is a monster. We got Brian Ray that I got to reschedule. We had a, something that, but he's, he's in the docket. Brian Ray plays with Paul McCartney. He's ready to be on the, the podcast. Uh, a bunch of other people. We had Ariel Posen uh, not too long ago on there. And, uh, you know, I, I space them out. I do them and then I forget. I forget. Uh, you know, Guthrie's a buddy of mine, Guthrie Govan. Guth pushing on a shoving with a Guthrie Govan. Uh, but he doesn't do those types of things. And he's like, you know, we're buddies and yada, yada, yada. But I just don't, I just, he, what did he say? He goes, I've really got nothing to say right now. And uh, to to the guitar community, I don't think he meant that in a snarky way. He just I don't think he's just the kind of guy that just shoots the breeze about that kind of stuff. Uh, mm, I had John Five on as well. Yeah, correct. Long hot summer. Boo -doo -doo -boo -doo -doo. <laughs>
Summertime. Uh, Tom Bakovic is excellent. I do not know him, though. I do not know Tom Bakovic, even though he is a savage guitar player and seems like a cool individual. I do not know him. Uh, but, you know, hopefully we can hook that up. Someone knows somebody who knows somebody and says, hey, bro, let's have a chat and see where it's at. I got to get my buddy Andy McKee on there. I got to get... Uh, I'd like to get Doug Rappaport on there. All kinds of guys. It's, just, it's never ending, but we'll get, we'll get them all on. Any chance of reunion with Bandastics? We can only hope. We can only hope that a delicious reunion of the... I played in a wedding band in college every now and again with a brother and sister team. And uh, my buddy Steve Andreoni would play bass, and I would play guitar. And they were called Bandastic. That's right. That's right. And um, that happened. Um, I do remember my last gig with them. I was on the lake all day long with friends, um, water skiing, high-speed bailouts, a thousand beers. And then I had to show up um, to play the wedding, and I was not in good standing. I'm just going to say that right now. And at some point, I decided it was a good idea to play guitar behind my head. So I hosted my 335 aloft and turned my head, and as I did so, the headstock bashed into the cranium of, I'm assuming, was the mother of the bride or something of that nature. So, not, not, not one of Drade's finest hours, nor that of Team Fantastic. <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord have mercy. Somebody wants to hear a little Luna Girl. You know, that's always a fun one to play. We'll play a little bit of it for you.
One more time, we got... was a shit show. All right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Listen, folks, I got to go. I got to go pick up my Y.E.'s pizzas I got tonight. It's going to be so damn delicious. Uh, we're going to have Y.E.'s pizza tonight. I'm having a... They finally, they finally brought back the Ring of Fire pizza, which has got bacon on it, uh, of course, cheese, a little bit of honey, and hot peppers. It's so good. You can't imagine it. It's so doggone good, but those peppers are hot, so it gives you it gives you a ring of fire. You know what I'm saying? It gives you a ring of fire. Mm. All right, folks, listen, we're doing the um, uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Time. Dylan and I will be on the Together website. That's the number two G T H R dot co, and. Um, we're going to have our buddy Matt Turner play some bass with us tomorrow, as a matter of fact. And we are going to do a little, a few Dwayne Ullman tribute tunes in addition to our normal savagery. Uh, so we'll see you cats on the flippity flop. We'll see you cats on the flippity. <laughs> Good night.